Hello everyone and welcome back to Silly Crafting. I know it's been a while and I'm sorry, I've been TikToking, <laughs> if, if that's a thing. Um, anyways, I made a recent TikTok on how I seal my cups and I got a lot of requests to make a video on how I do it. So, I've been using this uh, Mod Podge. It's clear acrylic sealer in gloss. You can find it at Walmart, you can find it at Michael's. It's only like 8 or $9, so it's not that pricey. I've uh, sealed about 15 cups so far and it still hasn't ran out, so it's gonna last you a while. Hello everyone, okay, so this is a cup I've been working on. It's a Marilyn Monroe one and I made the logo black here and just added, you know, a couple little more details. But I want, I'm going to be sealing this one and since you guys requested I make a sealing video, um, that's what we're doing today. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by just grabbing one of these. This came with my cup spinner, um, but if you don't have one of this, what you could do is just get a foam noodle, a pool noodle, um, stick it in here, and then I cut another piece of one, and then just fill it in, and this will hold it too. So, up to you. <laughs> um, but since I have this, it has a little hole here, I'm just going to be putting it inside. Once I'm ready, I'm going to be taking some masking tape. I have a piece here. I like to reuse mine because why, why not? And I'm going to start right at the top and just leave a tiny bit out hanging. You can see this. And I'm just going to go all the way around the cup. Now I'm just going to use my nails to push the tape inside the rim. Okay, looking good. Now we're going to go outside. So, Okay, so now we are outside and um, here is my cup. And this also came with my cup spinner, but I'm just going to be putting it in here to hold it and not get glue on my hands. So this is how I do it. <laughs> Make sure to shake your bottle. And once you're ready, I like to do my sections of three. So I do one, two, three, top, middle, end. End, okay. And then I spin a little bit. Spin again. And one time. Okay. And now I like to do like a big spin. And then I kind of just shake it and it dries really really fast so you don't have to worry about it too much but make sure to do this outside because it smells really bad and if you wear if you want to wear a face mask I would recommend it because it's really really smelly okay you could already see the texture so I'm gonna let this dry for 10 minutes and then I'll be back to do coat number two so I let my cup just dry upside down like this for 10 minutes and now it's been 10 minutes so I'm gonna do spray number two same way again this is what it's looking like and now I'm just going to remove the stick and let it dry for 10 more minutes. Okay, here we have coat number three. Okay, and once again, we're going to let this dry for 10 minutes. I'm not going to record coat four and five just because I'm repeating the same things, but I'll be back when I'm done with number five. So I sprayed coat number four and five and then I left it outside for about 10 hours just so it could um, air out and all the chemicals would be gone and this would be nice and dry. It's just to be safe, but this is what the cup looks like. It has a slight texture to it. To me, it kind of looks like leather, but I think it looks pretty cool. And I know you don't have to seal permanent vinyl, it's just a preference of mine because it gives me that peace of mind. But um, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. This is what the texture looks like once again. And this is clear acrylic Mod Podge in gloss.